What's going on guys? Today I'm gonna be eating some dim sum. Now dim sum is really popular in Hong Kong. It's a traditional Chinese cuisine made up of small steamed baskets, small plates of bite-sized food. <laughs> now the place I'm going today is called Tim Ho Wan and supposedly it's the cheapest Michelin star restaurant in Hong Kong. But first we're gonna to need to get there. So what you're gonna to need to do is take the MTR go to the orange line, the Tung Chung line, go all the way to Olympic City. Once you get to Olympic City, get off, go to exit D2 and head towards Olympian City. Head for the food garden. Let's go. I've made it here, it's on the ground floor in a place called the food garden. Quite tricky to find, just ask people, that's what I did. Just made it to Tim Ho Wan. It's actually on the outside of the shopping mall. So I've actually eaten dim sum before. I came with my parents when they came to visit me in Hong Kong. And I'll be honest with you guys, I didn't like it too much. But last time I ate dim sum, I had no idea what to order. So what I've done this time, I've texted five of my mates and I've asked them to recommend their favorite five dishes. I'm gonna see which ones are most recurring and pick five of them. Right, so the five dishes that I'm gonna go for are Pagao, which is steamed fresh shrimp dumplings. This is what you do, by the way, when you go for dim sum. You have a you have a sheet, uh, a pen, cross off what you want, hand it in, and apparently it's pretty quick uh, the delivery. In next on the list, uh, seal mai, which is steamed pork dumplings with shrimp. Chungun, which is a Cantonese spring roll. Seal long bao which is a dumpling with hot soup inside. Okay, they do not have that, the steamed dumpling. So what I'm gonna go for instead is the steamed beef balls with beef curd. I actually don't know how to say that in Cantonese. And ta su bao, which is a barbecue pork bun. I apologize for my terrible Cantonese. If you have any recommendations on dim sum, comment them below, I'll pin it so people can see what to eat and what tastes the best. Right, that's the five dishes I'm going for. I think that was five. I'm gonna order now. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold my clock up because apparently this place is renowned for quick service. So I'm gonna hold my phone to the camera. This could work out really badly for me. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm gonna hold my phone, speed it up a bit and see how long it takes. Here you go. Let the time begin. Hey, okay, first dish in 1 minute 14 seconds. I'm gonna wait for all five dishes before I start eating. Okay, scrap this, I'm hungry as hell. I'm gonna leave this going and tell you the times when the food comes. But, beef pork bun start. It's unusual because it's a savory dish because it's pork, but it's so sweet, the top of the bun because it kind of has like a layer of sugar on it. I like it though. Already better than my experience before. I don't know what I was ordering. I had one and a half buns. There's three here that usually come in a little dish like this. But I've got five dishes coming, so I'm gonna wait, save that bun, see if I've got any room left a little bit later. Okay, second dish has just come. Let me check the time, we're at eight minutes currently. We've got the spring rolls. So they're filled with shrimp and vegetable. Oh, another dish. What is this one? Uh, this one is a uh, shrimp dumpling. Shrimp dumpling. Yeah. Okay, shrimp dumpling, that's coming up next. For now, spring rolls. It's hot as Okay, I'm really enjoying this. Out of the two so far, I think I prefer the steamed bun. But this is nice. A little bit different, crunchier, and the texture before is a lot more soft. <laughs> Chopstick tricks. <laughs> That's gonna be a thing in the vlog. Chopstick tricks. Chopstick tricks. That's like a tongue twister, isn't it? Beef ball. Five dishes in under 12 minutes. Let's eat. 
here we go, bottoms up. Textures are very different from what you're used to. With any sort of Western dish, really. It's very chewy, uh, springy. It's hard to describe the texture of this, but it goes down quite nicely. Right, next up we're gonna try the steamed shrimp and pork dumpling. Looks a little bit like this. Bottoms up. Now the texture on that dumpling, for me, was more pleasurable because it had a bit more of a, a firm feel, less, how do I say it? Slippery, less slimy in your mouth. Whereas this one, a bit softer. I think I prefer the firmer texture. Still tastes pretty great. It's getting moved up above this one. And lastly, the beef balls with bean curd. These are also steamed, so I'm expecting them to have a similar texture, but I'm hoping the taste is pretty good. Right, here we go, bottoms up. Probably should take a smaller bite than that. Is it weird watching me eat like this? I'm sorry if you find this weird. I just realized I didn't take smaller bites, put the whole thing in my mouth. <laughs> okay, this is the softest of the steamed dishes so far out of the three dishes. But I feel like it has the most flavor. It's a hard decision between this beef wall and the pork and shrimp dumpling. Let me try some more. Smaller bite this time. No, I'm gonna stick. Right, I'm gonna put them all in order. The five dishes, if you wanna get dim sum, you can try these five dishes. The steamed pork bun. My favorite is a good mix between savory and sweet. Uh, the texture was soft, but warm inside. It was really nice. I'm gonna give that three and a half chopsticks out of five. Second on the list is the steamed pork and shrimp dumpling. Although not the most flavorsome dish here today, I like the texture. It had that steamed texture, but also was kind of hard at the same time. I think that yellow bit around the outside, still don't know what it's called, probably should ask. Gave it a bit of harder texture, so did the pork second on the list. That's gonna get three chopsticks out of five. Coming in third is the spring rolls. I like that crunch and I like that prawny taste inside. Mixed with the vegetables, it pleased the palate. Coming in at 2.5 chopsticks. Okay, fourth on the list, I am gonna go for the beef ball. This was a good dish, but I just didn't like how soft it was. It kind of just fell apart in my mouth and kind of felt a bit slimy. Still very nice, but it's coming in at one and a half chopsticks. And lastly was the steam shrimp. It wasn't for me, didn't like it that much. It's coming in at one chopstick. Sorry to say, I know it's a popular dish, but it's my opinion and there we have it. That is the five dishes I tried today. If you know any more dishes, comment below. Maybe I'll do another one of these, give some chopstick ratings and We'll see where we can go from here. I still haven't finished this food, so I'm gonna chow down a little bit further. A little bit further, a little bit longer. And just to give you an idea on pricing, this is my bill, this is what it came to. 120 Hong Kong dollars, I don't know if you can see that because I spilt all kinds of mess on there, but cheap, very affordable. Go side. Okay, to round off with the dim sum video, what I would say is if you haven't tried dim sum, make sure you give it a try. There's loads of variety, even though I only ate five dishes today, so much more on the menu. If you've tried it and you didn't like it, make sure you try it again. Try some different dishes because I tried some different ones today and I liked it even more. And thirdly, if you know of any more dishes that I should be trying, make sure you comment below. I'll reply to your comments and maybe next time I can put them in the video. But guys, that is the video done. Slightly different style of video for me, but I enjoyed it. You know what to do. Make sure you're leaving comments below, like this video, click the subscribe button. And that's all from me. Day done. Alex Owl. My Dan? Ah, okay. Okay, I have to go up and pay. Didn't realize, all right, get my bag. Thank you.